Hello everyone, I'll be with you shortly. I'm just going to give another minute for everybody to show up. Okay, welcome everyone. I'm glad to see you coming on. So we're going to get started. Just want to remind everybody my hostess code for March and that's always posted on my blog. I'm trying to see you guys and for some reason I can't bring it up. Let me try one more time before we get started. You know, we had a really bad snowstorm here and it's still going on and I'm, I'm hoping that my internet is not going to give out on me tonight. Okay, I'm going to get started. Um, so tonight, uh, Designing with Debbie, my usual Wednesday night class at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm going to go over the supplies that I gave you ahead of time that you needed to cut up. And this is the card we're going to be making tonight. And this is actually a gatefold card with a belly band that slides off. And then this is the inside. So we're going to be doing all of these layers. Now the stamp set that I'm using is the Lemon Zest, but if you guys have a, any type of fruit stamp will work. I'm using the round one. I'm using one of the leaves. And then I'm using to my main squeeze. So if you have anything close to that, that works. For inks, I'm using Basic Gray and Daffodil Delight. And hold on, I need to get my Lemon Lime Twist. I used it in a, another project today and I forgot to put it back. So let's go over all the cardstock layers. The first one is Daffodil Delight, eight and a half by five and a half. I still can't see you guys. Two pieces of Lemon Lime Twist, five and a quarter, by four, Whisper White, five by, oops, I didn't write that one down, five by one and a half, or nope, that's not right either, by one and seven eighths, two of those, a long strip of Daffodil Delight, 11 inches by one and a half, Lemon Lime Twists, four by one and a quarter, and these are all for the outside pieces. For the inside, we need lemon lime twist, five and a quarter by four, and whisper white, five by three and three quarter. So let me put all of these aside, except for the white. So we're going to start out with the two white pieces, and we're going to bring in the Daffodil Delight let me just see if I can see you guys one more time before I get started. I think I just need to go out of my page and then back in. It's sitting right in front of me and I just can't see you. Okay, it's not working tonight. I know you're there because I can see some people are there. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to stamp uh, using the round fruit stamp first. And as you can see, I did go off some of the sides of each piece. So just stamp and leave a little bit of white space because we're going to add some leaves. And I'm just doing like four or five of each on each strip. Okay, so that's all I did for that piece. Another thing we're going to do while we have this ink out, I asked you to bring a piece of no, uh, a post-it, just one. We're going to be doing some masking tonight. See how these are behind that one? If you've never done masking before, I'm going to show you how to do that. So what you need to do is find the sticky part of your post-it note and you're going to stamp on it. So make sure the sticky part is right where the image is. And then we're going to cut that out. 
You don't have to be fancy when you're cutting this out. And I like to cut a little bit on the inside of the lines. And I'll explain why when we do the masking. Now I know some of you guys are brand new to stamping, so you may have never tried masking before. It's one of the first things you learn in stamping, actually. So you can see I did leave some of the yellow there, and that's fine. Okay, now I'm going to just prepare my Lemon Lime Twist ink. I'm going to allow you guys to catch up. I still can't see you guys. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to blame it on the weather because we got like 18 or more inches today of snow. Crazy. Okay, now we're going to add some leaves. And Julie, if you're there, I know you told me you're using an older version of a fruit stamp um, stamp set. And I know yours didn't have leaves because I looked it up just to see what it was. So you can use the top of the little pineapple and, and just add a little bit of green here and there. That would work. Julie messaged me earlier to let me know what stamps that she was going to use. Okay, so I'm just adding some leaves in the spots, the white space. Okay, and that's all we're going to do there. We're going to need this again when we do the inside. And I'll let you catch up. And while you're waiting, if you're if you're all caught up and uh, we're waiting for everybody else to get caught up, you can bring in your score tool. I can see that I have 18 comments, but I can't see you guys. I'm so sorry. I'll have to answer your questions after the video is done. Okay, now we're going to score this for the gatefold, and we're going to score at two and one eighth. And then you're going to flip this around and do the same thing on the other end, two and one eighth. If you don't know where that is on your score tool, it's the little tiny line after the two. Some of the girls from my class may be laughing at me because I usually print a ruler for them to follow. A lot of them have a hard time with the fractions. Okay, next we're going to press this in place with the bone folder. I'm just going to wait a little bit till you guys get caught up. I need you guys to tell me too, I think this is only our third or fourth week, and let me know if my speed is okay after this class. Um, I know some of you guys are just out there watching. Okay, now we're going to glue the lemon lime twist in place. Oh, somebody, my husband's coming in to tell me what you guys are asking. The grand, my new granddaughter, Kylie Ann, who was born on Saturday, she's doing great. Um, she did have to go back to the hospital yesterday just to spend the day because um, she had a little bit of jaundice, but they put her under um, a special lamp and she's doing great they went back home today so all is good and she's a cutie i'm talking and taping at the same time okay so i added the lemon lime twist and then the next step would be to add your two stamped layers so thanks for asking about the baby i'll be able to answer you again once i uh, see who's talking to me Okay, so so far we have the three layers on the front and then this opens this way as a gatefold. Now we're going to get ready to do the inside next. So again, please let me know if I go too fast. I'm trying to go as slow as I can. 
I'm a fast stamper, so sometimes it's hard for me to, to slow down. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and glue the lemon lime twist. And that goes right in the center. Now, this is where the masking is going to come in on the next step. So here's the little mask, we need that. We're going to bring the Daffodil Delight back in. And what you do is you stamp one fully, and then you're going to take the little mask you created and place it on top. And then you're going to stamp two more. So one and two. And you can see how it's stamped on your mask. When you remove this, magic happens. See how it's tucked under? That's pretty neat, isn't it? Okay, now we just need to add leaves. I didn't add a sentiment to the inside um, because it says to my main squeeze, I wasn't sure what I was going to use with that. Because there is one here that says squeeze it for all it's worth live with zest so i'm not sure which one um, until i need the card which one i want to add so again we're going to add some of the lemon lime twist leaves so you're just again filling in some of the white spaces and this one's not even going to look like the first one i did but that's okay. And then we can go ahead and glue that on the inside. Okay, so the inside is done. Now we need to work on the belly band. Now I'm going to show you the way I do this. Um, it might be different, you know, some other people might do it differently. I don't like to do measurements when I'm doing the belly band. I just kind of put that on the scoreboard, center this and it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to trace the score line the closest to the card. And then I'm going to move it over just a tad because I want this to be loose so it can go up and down. So my next score line is going to, whoops, hold on, is going to be right here. So you can see that it's sitting on, on the outside so that when you fold it over, because we're actually, we actually have one, two, three, four, five, six layers that we need to be able to slide up and down. So that's how I do mine. And then we're going to put this underneath and flip it over. Actually, I should have turned this over. And then I'm going to add some liquid glue to both ends. And then press that in place and it should easily move up and down. See how that is? So that's just a quick way. Instead of having to uh, take, you know, stop and take measurements, that works for me. Okay, so once you have that done, the lemon lime twist layer needs to go to the front. And then we have a little bit more stamping left. So I'm going to let you get caught up and then set up for my my last few steps. So did anybody get, else get a lot of snow? We've had three storms in the last uh, two weeks and we like have no more room to put our snow. It's so bad. And there's another storm coming in next week. So I think I'm ready to move. My husband would like to move out of here. Okay, we're gonna need two pieces of scrap, or one piece if it's big enough. All we're going to do on this one is stamp fully, 
and then cut this out with the punch. And this was the one and three quarter inch punch. And then I'm going to cut this in half on the little white line there to make two wedges. So there's my two wedges. The next step, I'm going to bring in the Big Shot machine. And I have the stitched shape circle and this is uh, circle number two. So it's not the largest one, it's the next one down. And I'm going to cut one of those. And then we're going to go ahead and stamp one more of the fruit. And I'm going a little bit above the stitch line, just like that. And then we need to add the sentiment. And that's going to be with the basic gray ink. And that's going on the very top. Okay, so that's it on that. Now we need stamping dimensionals and we're going to glue the two wedges in, shape, in place. Just one is going to use dimensionals. The first one is going to lay flat. And that's going to go right there. And this one's going to be a little bit higher. Okay. And then that is glued right to the center of the belly band. So if you didn't have any fruit and you're following along, you can actually use any stamp because you're just actually making your own designer paper. And then I made this, the front of this, to match the designer paper. So that's my card for tonight. So this is the one, uh, the belly band is not on it and it opens this way. And then this is the finished one. So I hope you enjoyed my card for tonight. I'm sorry I couldn't interact with you. As I said, I'm going to blame it on the snowstorm. And just to let you know, I plan on uh, having a live video again tomorrow morning sometime. I'm not sure what time yet. I'm going to be using our new Stamparatus tool. And what I'll do is I'll announce it an hour before I decide to go live so you can uh, see um, the time that I'll go live. And it's always Eastern time. So thanks for dropping in and have a good night.